spell. Good sportsmanship from both fighters in round three. Jimmy on your scorecard. Two rounds to none for Marlon Sandro, 20 to 18. Malagari pushing forward, trying to get it done, but just a little outgunned on the feet. Doesn't quite have the tight boxing he needs to get inside. Nazareno Malagari is in the loose-fitting black trunks with the yellow trim. Marlon Sandro is in the tight-fitting black trunks. Jeffrey Josh Rosenthal is doing an outstanding job. He is really letting this fight flow, letting this fight breathe. Best referee is the one you don't notice. This with the hook there by Malagari. See Sandro still loading that up because I think it's just a just a little a warning. If you come in and you commit to a takedown with me, I'm gonna I'm gonna crack you with that uppercut. He cracks him with a kick. Then the left hand on the hook by Marlon Sandro. He's definitely finding the striking range. He is landing right uppercut hand. again. And throwing good combinations. It's not just one. He's landing the jab at good head movement. When Malagari comes in, he's eating three or four punches. Marlon Sandro is so humble. He said, I don't fight for fame. I don't fight for glory. I fight to provide for my family. Now, this is a guy who grew up in the favela, in the ghetto in uh, Rio de Janeiro. He said, I want my son to have more than I had. He's very motivated, very humble. He remembers his roots. Sandro went for the single leg. The defense there by Malagari. But again, Malagari was adamant that he wanted to get this fight to the ground. He felt that he had the better jujitsu, felt that he had the better ground game in MMA. Yet it's Sandro who's been recording the takedowns and instigating the takedowns by and large. Little headbutt there. Accidental clash of heads. Good work by Josh Rosenthal. Good sportsmanship by Malagari and Sandro, and the fighting continues. And that's been the story of the fight. Malagari might be initiating, but he's not finding his range. So Sandro's coming in tighter and landing those counter shots. Just like that. Stiff left jab there by Marlon Sandro. It's the one-two, Jimmy. The left, right, left, right. They're straight and they're tight. Beautiful right hand and then a slip. Uppercut to the body and a clubbing right hand by Marlon Sandro. That uppercut was in the chest. Beautiful job, excellent commitment, working the whole body. And look at those reflexes. He's thinking, takedown and strike at the same time. Beautiful left hook. The mouse under the right eye of Nazareno Malagari, which formed in the first round, is about to pop here in round three. Now, this has just been a boxing clinic by Marlon Sandro. Very tight striking. And good movement. Very fluid with his head. Hard to hit a target like that. The uppercut again, that clubbing right hand. Oh, he's got to watch the top of the head. If you hit a guy up near the forehead, it's easy to break your hand. Huge shots now by Sandro. Oh, tight boxing. Still, to his credit, Malagari comes forward. Jimmy, how hard do you think that Marlon Sandro will try to finish this fight? Or do you think that he believes that he is ahead comfortably on the three judges' scorecards? I, I think he knows he's ahead. If he sees he gets Malagari rocked, he will go into the finish. I don't see him pushing it that hard. If you're in his corner, what are you telling him? Keep doing what you're doing. You're winning this fight. You're, you're doing damage. You're not stalling. Don't do anything different in this third round. And so far, he's not. Under 90 seconds now remaining in this first featherweight tournament semifinal. As a coach, I'm never a big fan of, oh, it's a third round. You win the first two. Back off. Play it safe. No. If you've been winning the first two rounds for a reason, keep doing what you're doing. Again, the winner of this bout faces the winner of our second semifinal, which we will see tonight. Ronnie Mann versus Pat Curran. That final August 20th, Saturday night, right here on MTV2. Uh, looks like Malagari's cut under both eyes. He's just taking a lot of damage. We are in the 15th and final minute. You know, no big haymakers. He really hasn't had Malagari rocked very many times. It's just accurate, tight, sharp strikes. Body kick, and it was definitely blocked there by the elbow of Sandro. Good left hook by Sandro. Malagari trying to come back. Decent left hook there by Malagari. One of his better punches of this fight. But Sandro just kind of, really just kind of chucked it off. Fake on the jump knee there by Marlon Sandro. 
20 seconds. This crowd making some noise. I think they appreciate really what they've been seeing. Two guys really going in, going at each other, throwing a lot of leather. It's been a great fight. A mouse under the right eye and a mouse under the left eye on Nazareno Maligari's face. Uh, Big jump knee. They are on the chin. They are still throwing as the bell's about to sound. An outstanding fight by two great Brazilian fighters. The bell and it's the end of an outstanding fight. When we reach featherweight tournament semifinal number one has gone to distance. Nazareno Maligari versus Marlon Sandro. Jimmy on your scorecard. 30-27 Marlon Sandro. Very tight boxing. Excellent job. With the three province of Ontario judges scorecards, here is Michael Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, for the decision will go to your judges scorecards. All three judges, Dr. Greg Jackson, Jason Rogers, and Pasquale Procopio, all score the fight exactly the same at 30 to 27. All for the winner by unanimous decision. Now advancing to the featherweight tournament finals. is a former Sengoku featherweight champion, the featherweight king of Pancrate, and now he is two wins away from becoming Bellator's 145-pound world champion. He is with Jimmy Smith. I'm here with your first featherweight finalist, Marlon Sandro. Marlon, you said you fight for your family, you fight for your kids. What is your opponent in store for in the finals? What will happen with the next opponent? Hey, everybody, Canada. Thank you so much. Canada. Everybody. I I give you. I give you for for your for your fans. Knock knockout submission. But this is is war. Is uh, my my opponent is good fighter. I'm sorry. Thank you so much. Thank everybody. Your winner, Marlon.